Hi everyone, John here from Dablin. If you're watching this video, you've received your Dablin home phototherapy device and you're on your way to living clear. In this video, we'll show you how to use your doctor's treatment plan to get started with your home phototherapy. Before you get started, you'll need three items. First, you'll need your home phototherapy instruction sheet. Your phototherapy instruction sheet was emailed to you when your doctor submitted your treatment plan online and should look something like this. Next, you'll need your UVB time chart. You can find the link to your UVB time chart in the phototherapy instruction sheet. Finally, you'll need the output of your device. You'll find the output on the yellow calibration certificate included with your device. For Dermapal users, the output is conveniently located on the third to last page of your user manual. Your device output will be a two to three digit number. For example, 6.0 milliwatt per centimeter squared or 11.2 milliwatt per centimeter squared. Have everything? Great. Next, let's take a look at your treatment plan. Find the treatment plan section on your phototherapy instruction sheet. The first number you should see in this section is your starting dose. In other words, this is the starting point for your entire treatment regimen. Because you have a timed mode device, you'll need to convert your starting dose from millijoules into a starting treatment time. Pull out your UVB time chart and find your starting dose in millijoules in the left hand column. Next, find the device's output and the header across the top Round it up to the closest number to your device's output. The point at which your starting dose and your output meet is your starting treatment time. This is the treatment time you will enter into your device to start your course of treatment. For example, if your starting dose is 200 millijoules and your output is 6.0 milliwatt per centimeter squared, your starting treatment time would be 33 seconds. You may be wondering, how often should you treat? Take another look at your doctor's instructions. Under the treatment plan section, you'll see the treatment schedule. That is the number of times per week that you'll use your phototherapy device. For example, if your doctor has instructed you to treat three times per week, you might do your treatments on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. We do not recommend, however, treating multiple days in a row. For example, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You should give yourself at least one day between treatments to see how your skin is reacting. Congratulations on getting your first treatment set up. Let's take a look on how to set up your next treatment. As long as you weren't experiencing symptoms for more than 24 hours after your last treatment, you can increase your next dose. Symptoms include light pinkness, warmth, tenderness, or tingling. Take another look at your phototherapy instruction sheet. Under the treatment plan section, you'll see a percent increase. That is the percent by which you will increase each successive treatment. Calculating the increase might seem challenging, but it's not. There are two easy ways to calculate your increase. First, use a calculator to determine the percent increase over your last dose. For example, if your last dose was 200 millijoules, and your doctor wants you to increase each dose by 10%, you would multiply 200 by 10% or 0 0.10. 10% of 200 is 20 millijoules. Add that to your last dose. So your next dose would be 220 millijoules. Don't forget, because you have a time mode device, you'll need to convert your newly increased dose into time. To do that, repeat the steps you learned in the finding your starting dose section of the video. The second way to calculate your next dose is by using our Davlin smartphone app. Open your smartphone's app store and search for Davlin Phototherapy Calculator. Once installed, open the app and tap Calculator, and then tap the Time tab at the top. Enter your last treatment time and the desired percent increase and tap Calculate. The app will generate your next treatment time. If your doctor has prescribed a maximum dose, say 2,000 millijoules, you'll need to make sure that you don't exceed that maximum dose. You can find out the time equivalent of your maximum dose in the Davlin Phototherapy Calculator. Open the app and tap Calculator, and then tap the BB and B UVB tab at the top, 
and your device's output in the power field, your maximum dose in the dose field, and zero in the backup percent field. Then tap Calculate. This will tell you the treatment time equivalent of your maximum dose. Make sure you don't exceed that treatment time. So what should you do if a treatment is missed? We get it, sometimes life gets in the way. Just keep in mind that if you missed any treatments, you might need to adjust your next treatment. How much you adjust your next treatment depends on how many treatments you've missed. For example, if you've missed a week of treatments, do not increase your next dose. Instead, use the same dose that you used for your last treatment. If you missed two weeks of treatments, you'll need to reduce your next dose by 25%. If you missed three weeks of treatment, reduce your next dose by 50%. But if you've missed four weeks of treatment, you'll need to restart your entire course of treatment, beginning again with your starting dose. Of course, you can also find information about what to do if you miss treatments on your phototherapy instruction sheet. And that's how your home phototherapy treatment plan works. Make sure you thoroughly read your device manual before use. Your phototherapy instruction sheet has a lot of helpful information, like where to stand, or how to hold your device, protecting areas of your body that aren't being treated, and a link to a video on how to operate your device. And remember, always wear UV blocking goggles when doing your treatments. And that's it. You're ready to get started on your journey to clear skin. Thank you for being the best part of dabbling.